but this is great for business as well because there is a block party going on in the gas lamp. The businesses are open. The people are already down here. And 10 News reporter Sophia Hernandez is down at that block party and has more on what this does for our economy locally. Yeah, Kimberly, all day there have been swarms of Friar Faithfuls, like the guys that you see behind me. And what does this mean for the businesses that are out here on J Street? Well, you can imagine constant foot traffic and fans that are looking to spend. So exposure is great, the brand is great, Padres are great. The Blind Burro sits a block away from the park, and they are hoping to capitalize on today's home game. Months of preparedness from training new staff, hiring 10 to 15 new people just for baseball season. Uh, make sure they're, they're good to go feel comfortable with the volume that we're about to do. The restaurant opening new decks, extending their hours and consolidating their menu, expecting sales to be its highest. Yeah, that's going to be, you know, up there with the like Garth Brooks concerts, which was a record for us. Across the street is Lucky's Counter, the chef making food for this sandwich shop and Moonshine Deck. We're even open uh, later hours than we normally do just for today. Uh, so, I mean, it's going to be a lot of fun. They've been working with these crowds for 10 years. Thursday, they're offering 394 specials, hoping to sell out. Small venue, as, as, as Lucky says, uh, we still do about three times as their normal daily sales on a day like today easily. While they cater to the fans outside the stadium, they hope to celebrate a win in more ways than one. Everybody's just, pretty much everybody's on the same team today, you know? Everybody's a Padre fan, so um, the staff is happy. Everybody's going to have a little money in their pocket after today. Just a seamless afternoon. And those businesses, as well as others that I spoke to, which you'll hear from in the next hour, they say that they're not going to close until the fans leave. So you can imagine the celebrations will be lengthy going well into tonight. Reporting live in East Village, Sophia Hernandez, ABC 10 News. Those businesses are truly ready for this, Sophia. That was great and lots of excitement from the people down here.